Welcome to the Louisville Metro Government American Rescue Plan Grant Application How-To Video. This video is for organizations that are interested in applying for Louisville Metro Government grant opportunities that are funded by the U.S. Department of the Treasury American Rescue Plan State and Local Fiscal Recovery Fund. Grant applicants must register on Metro Government's bonfire site at the address shown on the screen, louisvilleky.bonfirehub.com. Here is what the bonfire site looks like. In order to use the bonfire site, organizations must first register. In order to register, click on the blue Login Register button in the upper right-hand corner as shown and choose new vendor registration fill out the fields of information that are requested click create account and follow the prompts to establish your bonfire account when louisville metro government announces a new american rescue plan grant opportunity it will send automatic notifications about this opportunity based on commodity codes. When you register your organization on Bonfire, select the commodity codes based on the types of grant opportunities that your organization is interested in. For example, the grant opportunity for small business assistance is automatically advertised to the commodity codes shown on the screen. Small Business Consulting, Minority and Small Business Consulting, and Business Research Services. The Grant Opportunity for Workforce Development is advertised to the commodity codes shown on the screen for Business Consulting, Vocational Training, Summer Youth Program, and Economic Development domestic and foreign. It is not necessary to register for specific commodity codes in order to apply. However, this will enable your organization to receive automatic notifications when a new ARP grant opportunity is announced. Once your organization has registered on Bonfire, then you can apply for ARP grant opportunities on the Bonfire site. Once you have registered on Bonfire, you can review the various procurement opportunities that are listed on the Bonfire site, including American Rescue Plan grant opportunities. In order to view an opportunity, find the procurement opportunity or grant application that you're interested in and click View Opportunity. This will open a screen describing the grant opportunity. You will see that there are a number of supporting documents listed for each ARP grant opportunity. Several of these must be turned in as a part of your grant application, and this video will describe those in more detail. Once you have reviewed the supporting documents, and are ready to apply, at the bottom of the screen you will click prepare your submission. I also recommend that you view the new to bonfire video that is shown on the screen next to the prepare your submission button. It may seem strange that in this video we are referring you to another video However, the video you are watching right now is specifically tailored to American Rescue Plan grants, and the video on the Bonfire site is a more general video about using Bonfire. When you apply for an American Rescue Plan grant, there are a number of important supporting documents that you must include along with your grant application. Those are listed on the screen and I will be describing each one. One of the supporting documents you must include 
is the work plan. It appears under the supporting documents as ARP Project Work Plan and is a Microsoft Word document. Click on the download button to download the work plan template. As you can see, there is also an example work plan that you can refer to to provide additional assistance. The work plan is intended to be a high level work plan describing your proposed project. It should include milestones, major activities of the project, resources that are needed, the timeline and duration, budget estimates for each milestone, and you can see, as mentioned before, an example work plan in the supporting documents. This is the blank work plan template for you to complete. Here is the example of a completed work plan. The next supporting document you must complete is the risk questionnaire. Download the document listed as ARP subrecipient questionnaire RFA version. The risk questionnaire identifies risks to successful project completion. It is used by the Office of Management and Budget, or OMB, to determine the grant monitoring plan. This is the blank risk questionnaire. It is important to note that not all of the items on the risk questionnaire are used to determine whether an organization is eligible to receive a grant. If your organization must answer no to one or more of the items on the questionnaire, this does not mean that you are not eligible. Rather, this is information that the Office of Management and Budget will consider in determining the type of assistance that your organization will require in order to become fully compliant and increase your organizational capacity to conduct the grant. The next supporting document that should accompany your application is the budget. Download the ARP application budget template. Complete the entire budget workbook, including the narrative and expenditure timeline. The budget attachment is a Microsoft Excel document. However, if your computer does not have Microsoft Excel, we can provide a template as a Google Sheet if requested. The budget attachment for your application is quite detailed. The final budget in your grant agreement, once approved, will be less detailed. The application requires greater detail to ensure that the proposed budget is feasible. Ensure that all expenses proposed for ARP funding are eligible according to the Federal Regulation 2 CFR 200 and the ARP Interim Rule. An example budget is provided in the supporting documentation on Bonfire. It is intended to illustrate the type of information for each field. However, do not necessarily follow the example of the, that is provided. Just because something is listed in the example does not necessarily mean that it is appropriate for the specific application for which your organization is applying. This is the budget template so that you can see what it looks like. And as mentioned before, please remember to complete the budget narrative and the expenditure timeline. The detailed budget is an Excel form that will do many of the calculations for you. It allows you to show the cost of a project that you will be charging to this grant as well as the total project cost including other grants and other agency funding. 
at the top of the form, list the total amount of the project, including other funding sources. In column G, list the amount of funding that you are requesting from the American Rescue Plan for this project. If you have any other Metro government funding that is going towards the same project, list it in column H. Column I will automatically calculate the remaining amount of the project, which your agency will then be covering with other funding from general donations or from other funding sources. As you go through the form and enter the specific items, you will see the total amount that is left to allocate to individual costs at the bottom of the form on row 118. So in this case, since I have entered the total project amounts at the top, but we have not listed any individual forecasted expenses yet, the full amount is still remaining unaccounted for. Once all of the budget amounts are accounted for above, the amounts on row 118 should be zero. Here I have illustrated an example expense for the project, where you can see that this individual employee position will cost the project $8,000. This is calculated automatically. If the total number of hours were changed, then it will calculate the new total cost. In column G, enter the amount of the cost that will be paid by this grant. And the Excel form will automatically leave the remaining amount of the cost not covered by the grant in column I. This then also updates the amounts remaining unaccounted for in row 118. If you intend to charge indirect costs to the grant, then please take note of the federal regulation in 2 CFR 200.414. When you do your indirect rate, you do not apply it necessarily to the entire grant amount, depending upon the expenses in the grant. Your indirect costs must be applied to the modified total direct cost, and I'm showing on the screen an excerpt from the Code of Federal Regulations. And as you can see, modified total direct costs are applied to salaries and wages, fringe benefits, materials and supplies, services, travel, and the first $25,000 of any subawards. However, you cannot include equipment, capital expenditures, charges for patient care, rental costs, tuition remission, scholarships and fellowships, or participant support costs in the modified total direct costs. And therefore, you cannot include them when calculating your indirect cost amount. You are encouraged to look at the budget example that is provided on Bonfire, but as mentioned before, the items listed on the example are not intended to illustrate ideal budget items, rather just to demonstrate the format and uh, the type of information to enter into each field. The next supporting document that you should complete and include with your application is the KPI Logic Model Template. In order to download the KPI template from Bonfire, find the Microsoft Word document named ARP KPI Template and click on the Download button. KPIs, or Key Performance Indicators, are required for American Rescue Plan projects. Performance indicators should include both output and outcome measures. 
The ARP State and Local Fiscal Recovery Fund Compliance and Reporting Guidance encourages the use of logic models as a way to identify output and outcome measures. The KPI logic model template includes definitions of terms, references, and an example logic model. A detailed PowerPoint slideshow explaining KPI logic models is included in the supporting documentation. This is the KPI logic model template. And as you can see, there are instructions and an example completed KPI logic model. Please note um, the spaces where each of the output and outcome measures should be entered. For each output and outcome measure, please provide a target number. For more information and guidance about logic models and key performance indicators, please download the PowerPoint slideshow that is available on Bonfire, American Rescue Plan KPI Logic Model. The fifth mandatory attachment that must be included with your ARP grant application is the Equity Questionnaire. To download the Equity Questionnaire, find the supporting document ARP Equity Questions, which is a Microsoft Word document, and click the Download button. Louisville Metro Government values equity and requires an equity lens for all applications. Equity answers should focus on which protected classes or racial or socially historically underserved, marginalized, or adversely affected groups will be affected by the proposal. Mention any prioritization of geographic areas or demographics. Also, input into the proposal from stakeholders and affected groups. Describe root causes of racism or inequality that are addressed in the proposal and how the project will measure advances in equity. Also include any partnerships with minority-owned businesses to execute the proposal. In addition to the five supporting document attachments that were described earlier, the project for which you are applying may have additional project-specific requirements. If so, they will be listed in the application form itself. We realize that the process of applying via Bonfire is new and the Accelerator team is glad to offer technical assistance for applicants. In order to receive technical assistance, email accelerator at louisvilleky.gov. Technical assistance covers the process of submitting an application, but not advice on the content of the application itself. Applicants may also submit questions about the project. There is a separate deadline for project questions, Answers to project questions will be shared with all applicants. Each request for applications includes a deadline for technical assistance prior to the application deadline. This concludes the Louisville Metro American Rescue Plan grant application how-to video. We hope that you have found it helpful and thank you for your interest in assisting Louisville Metro government to serve the people of Louisville with the American Rescue Plan funding.